12 hours of non-stop competition, five disciplines, one sport. This is Modern Pentathlon. Over the last five months, the world's finest pentathletes have competed at four World Cup events around the world, aiming to qualify for the World Cup final in Minsk, Belarus. Back in February, Great Britain's Samantha Murray took victory at the season opener in Sarasota, Florida. In Cairo, Margot Isaacson lost a clear lead on the final round of shooting, and it was 2012 Olympic champion Laura Asadaskaiti who took the gold. In Rome, it was all about Asadaskaiti again as she powered her way from 20th place in the final combined event to take an incredible victory. And at the final qualifying round in Keshkemet, Hungary, it was local favourite Sofia Fothadzi who put in the best performance of her career so far to top the podium. The top 36 athletes from the final World Cup standings all qualified directly for the final, which was held here in Minsk, capital of the Republic of Belarus. Since becoming independent in 1991, Minsk has been transformed into a modern, vibrant city, mixing state-of-the-art architecture with reminders of their Soviet past. One of the favourites to take the gold medal was defending World Cup champion Octavio Navaska. I hope that will be will be <laughs> good like like uh, in last year, but um, last year was my the best competition, so <laughs> I will be happy when I will be in the first six and I will be it will, will be good. There. One of her biggest rivals was likely to be American Margot Isaacson, who has finished on the podium at all three of her World Cup appearances this season. I'm just hoping to improve on my competitions from previous in the year. You know, I have uh, struggled with shooting as everybody's seen me in the combined and I've been working really hard. Minsk is absolutely amazing. To be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect when coming to Minsk and it has exceeded all of my expectations. The city is beautiful, the city is clean, the competition venues are absolutely amazing and I'm kind of expecting one of the best competitions we've had this season. In a sport with such a rich Olympic history, there was an extra incentive for the athletes this weekend, with the winner being guaranteed a qualifying place for the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. It's um, an exciting time. It makes this time of year really important and there's lots of hope for all the athletes. I really hope this weekend I can just string together five good events and, and make the whole pentathlon good this time. World Cup final day began with the first of the five disciplines, the fencing. The round-robin competition sees all 36 athletes compete against each other in one-minute bouts, with the first to get a hit being the winner. Fencing is always one of Shafir Folhadzi's weakest disciplines, and Minsk was no exception. This victory over Olympic champion Laura Asadoskaiti, one of just 16 victories that left her down in 25th place overall. As the strongest swimmer in the field, Frances Elodie Clouvel knew a good fence would give her a big early advantage in the competition, but she made a disappointing start and finished down in 19th place. One of the other big surprises of the morning was the performance of Margot Isaacson. She's usually challenging at the top of the leaderboard, but would struggle for consistency, and despite this last second victory, eventually finished the fencing down in 12th place, over 40 points behind the leader. Defending World Cup final winner Octavia Novaska was another leading contender to make an indifferent start. She struggled during the early rounds but recovered to finish in 10th overall. 2008 Olympic champion Lena Schoenborn was amongst the early leaders after the fencing, finishing in 5th place overall with 22 victories. One victory ahead of her was 2012 Olympic bronze medalist Yanni Marquez, who put in her best fencing performance of the season so far to finish in fourth. After two World Cup victories so far this season, Laura Asadaskaiti was many people's favourite heading into the World Cup final. She was another leading athlete to have her strongest fence of the season and finished third with 24 victories. One win ahead of her was Canada's Melanie McCann. She was at the top of the leaderboard throughout the morning's competition and finished with 25 wins from her 35 fights, including this one of Elena Schoenborn. I feel really good. I'm quite happy with the result. So uh, looking forward to the next few events now. I was just trying to relax and have fun and, and really let all my training come through. And I think uh, I achieved that today. 
Equaling McCann's performance and taking a share of the overall lead after the first discipline of the day was Italy's Gloria Tocchi. So my feeling this morning were very good and I'm so happy. I love this country, I love this city because I think it brings me lucky. So I'm happy. I hope that the, the, comp the competition will be gone, will be good. So I, I'm happy. So confirmation of the fencing results with Toki and McCann tied at the top of the standings with 250 points. Laura Asadaskaiti is third with 244 and defending champion Octavia Novaska rounds out the top 10. From the fencing arena, the athletes move next door to the pool for the 200 meter freestyle swimming. After a confident start to the competition, Laura Asadaskaiti was hoping to maintain her momentum and she went in heat two. Ireland's Natalia Coyle put in a superb swim to take a clear victory, with Asadaskaiti finishing a strong second. Heat three saw joint leaders Melanie McCann and Gloria Toki both swim, along with Margot Isaacson. Final 20 meters, it's Fakhradinova from Russia out front with Isaacs from the United States in second. These last few meters, it's exhausting for these. It is Fakhradinova from Russia, Isaacs from the United States in second. Fakhradinova is our winner. Australia's Chloe Esposito had the fastest qualifying time of the seven swimmers to go in heat four. Chloe Esposito from Australia just lengthening her lead. She is powerhouse to the finish. It's going to be Esposito all the way in first. Close race for second. It's, it's going to be Priscilla Oliveira from Brazil. And in third, Su Jin Young from Korea. The day's final heat saw the eight fastest swimmers in the sport this season, with Shofia Falhadzi and Elodie Cluvel amongst the favorites. Final few meters, it's Elodie Clavel on near world record pace. She's lengthening her lead. It's going to be Elodie Clavel from France. And it's a, nearly a dead hit. We've got Kovac, Sotero, and Foldhazi rounding out the field. It's, it's uh, fantastic. I'm very happy because my fencing is uh, not so good. And uh, just uh, focused uh, with my swimming in the very concentrate and uh, it's my best time. Uh, I'm very, very, very happy. So a superb swim from Clovel, who finished over four seconds clear of the rest of the field to take 320 points. Sorolta Kovac took second, Alice Sotero third, and Shofia Folhadzi fourth with 306 points. Yanni Marquez followed up her strong fence with fifth, while Chloe Esposito's heat four victory gave her the sixth fastest time overall. Those two consistent performances put Marquez into the lead. Gloria Toki is now four points behind in second. Laura Asadoskaiti stays third, whilst Melody McCann drops to fourth, 14 points behind the leader. Elodie Clavel's victory puts her back in contention. She's up to fifth with 522 points. From the swimming pool, the competition moved outside to the district of Rotomka, where the rest of the day's action showcasing four separate disciplines will be held, starting with the fencing bonus round. Designed to bring fencing into the main arena for the first time in the sport's history, the bonus round also gives the athletes a chance to earn extra points, with each victory earning one point, equal to one second in time. Both Shofia Folhaci and Chloe Esposito gain time on the athletes ahead, taking three victories each. At the top of the leaderboard, Yane Marquez took wins over Elena Roblevska, Laura Asadaskaiti and Melanie McCann to go into a final match showdown against Gloria Toki. Those three bonus points extended Marquez's lead at the top of the standings to five points, while Shofia Folhadzi moves up to eighth and Chloe Esposito is now into the top ten overall. From the bonus fencing, the athletes moved straight on to the third discipline of the day, the horse riding. Before they ride, the athletes and their coaches have just 20 minutes to inspect the jumps, learn the course and check the stride lengths between each of the fences. 
Starting the riding in 12th place overall, Margot Isaacson knew she needed a strong ride to stand any chance of challenging the leaders ahead of her, and she was still clear with four fences left to jump. Isaacson now in the most difficult part of the course. It's going to be a rollback to 10. She has a very good clip going on here. A lot of speed. Left hand turn to 11, triple combination. This triple is max height, a lot of speed through here. Nicely done, Margot. Left hand turn, the big vertical. Great round for Margot Zaxon from the United States. Next to ride was Octavia Novaska, and the defending World Cup winner's chances of repeating her 2014 success were about to come crashing down. Novaska coming to the in and out, number six. She pushes her hands forward. Horse comes through the fence. Novaska's on the ground. This, is, this takes last year's champion out. Disappointing. The first of the top 10 to ride was Chloe Esposito, and she was clear heading into fence 11, the triple. Clear on A and B, and she's got C. She needs to hold out for 12, the big vertical. Hold long, and she does it. Chloe Esposito, nicely done. Germany's Lena Schoenerborn had a difficult round and four fences down would drop her out of contention. Keshkomet World Cup winner Shofia Falhatsi was back in contention after a strong swim and she was clear heading into fence six. Coming to the in and out, number six. She asked, pulls it with the four legs, asks for a big spot, gets it. Not pretty. And nice over A, B. And she's got C. Needs to hold that. This is the curve on the left. Big vertical. Rubs it. Back leg. She sat back just a little too early and resulted in a, a rail down. After her dominant performance in the pool, Frances Elodie Cluvel was hoping for a strong ride to keep her in overall contention. Cluvel through the in and out. One of the tallest athletes in the field. She's able to wrap her legs around the horse and really put her leg on, a related distance, nicely done. She handles her body very, very well for somebody with that, that size, her height. This is the most challenging part of the course, coming through the triple. She's clean over A, B, puts her leg, C, nice. Left hand turn to the big vertical, final fence. Nicely done, and that's a clear round for Elodie Clavel from France. Next on course was Melanie McCann, and she was still clear heading over fence 10. That left hand turn to the triple combination. It's clear on A, she's getting a little slow through the triple. And she rubs it with the back legs, hold for the big vertical number 12, and Nicely done. Little, little to the right. Well done, Melanie. As the strongest combined athlete in the field this season, Laura Asaduskaiti knew a good ride would put her in a great position heading into the final event, and she finished her round with just one fence down. Next on course was second-placed Gloria Toki. The roll back to 10. Clean over 10. Out of balance there. You see, lost her left stirrup, but she's going to take that left turn. She's going to try to pick her stirrup up as she heads through the triple. It's tough coming it's clear through B. She pulls the rail, and that's a result of the, of the lost stirrup. Too much speed. Left hand turn. Clean over 12. And good round considering she was riding with one stirrup there. Last to ride was current leader Brazil's Yanni Marquez. Marquez clean on two. Left hand turn to three. Needs a little more impulsion and she gets the stop. Yanni needs a little, needs to move her horse up, needs a little more impulsion. Let's see if she can put her leg on. Hard right rein, little leg. Still not enough and he crow hops the fence. Last fence, clear as it gets clear, but that's gonna cost her that stop. So of the leading athletes, only Margot Isaacson and Elodie Cluvel take the maximum 300 points, with Anastasia Prokopenko the only other rider to go clear inside the target time.
Riding was so much fun today, actually. The horse didn't make any mistakes, and even if I did make mistakes, the horse corrected them for me. So it was definitely one of my easier rides, and it's uh, definitely a plus side to a not so great day. In the overall standings, it's Italy's Gloria Tocchi who leads into the final combined event. She has a five second advantage over Elodie Cluvel, who moves up to second. Laura Sadaskaiti is just two seconds further back in third, with Sorolta Kovac fourth, Melanie McCann fifth, and Yanni Marquez drops to sixth after her difficult ride. Behind her, Chloe Esposito, Margot Isaacson, and Sofia Falhazi have all performed strongly in the combined this season and are still well in contention for a podium position. And so to the final combined event, held over four legs of an 800-metre cross-country running course, with the athletes having to hit five targets in the shooting before they can continue on to their next lap. Just who will be crowned the 2015 World Cup final winner and secure qualification for next year's Rio Olympic Games? And our leaders on the course, Gloria Toki from Italy, wearing number one, she'll be shooting in position number one. Comes into the shooting range for her first shooting series, her first of four shooting series. Followed by Lodi Clavel from France in number two. And Laura Azadaskaiti, the Olympic champion from London, position number three. And there goes Gloria. Nice shooting for the Italian. Melanie McCann in position number five. Kovac from Hungary in four. Yanni Marcus is number six, the Olympic bronze medalist. And there goes Laura Azadaskaiti, who has run herself from, in the Rome World Cup. She went from 20th to first. Here she's starting in third. There goes Kovac and Marcus and McCann. Again, they need five green lights. Chloe Esposito from Australia, seventh place in the, in the London Games. Great combined athletes. Margot Isaac from the United States. Sofia Foldhousey from Hungary. Very early in the race, Gloria Toki, our leader. Nice stride as Laura Azadaskaiti, though. She is a freight train coming up from behind. Wearing number three, already has moved into second position, passing the Lodi Clavel from France. They're wearing number two. McCann in fourth from Canada. Kovac from in fifth from Hungary. And Chloe Esposito from Australia wearing number eight. Yanni Marcus from Brazil wearing number six. E. Saxon from the United States in number seven. Foldelzi from Hungary wearing number nine. It's a very packed race. These girls are all looking for the podium. And there, she, there goes Laura Azadaskaiti from Lithuania. The Olympic champion has moved in the first. Toki from Italy in second. Clavel from France in third. There's Alza Deskaiti. She's lengthening that lead. This is what she does best. She's won every competition that she's competed in in the world this year. This is her best event. Melanie McCann and Chloe Esposito and Kovac from Hungary in a group. They take the clubhouse turn there as they're coming into the shooting range for their. And there goes Esposito. She's moved into fourth. Alza Deskaiti, our leader. First shot, green light. Toki from Italy, shooting in position number one. First shot's a miss. Second shot's a miss. And there goes Laura. I think that may have been five for five, Azaz Eskaiti. She really is a pro. Gloria, there goes Toki in second position. And it's anybody's race for the bronze right now. Clavel from France, Kovac from Hungary, McCann from Canada, Marcus from Brazil. You've got out of frame Isaacson from the United States, Esposito, and Foldhuzzi. And there goes Clavel, Esposito, and Foldhuzzi leaving the range together, followed by Isaacson and Yanni Marcus, the bronze medalist from London. Again, this is a second of, of four 800 meter loops. Chloe Esposito making tracks here. And Esposito passes the Canadian and, and has moved into third position. Again, though, it's anybody's race with these top eight athletes. And there's Laura Azadaskaiti, our leader, comfortably out in front as she's coming down the home stretch. We will come to the shooting range for her third series. But it's still, with Gloria Toki in second, it can still be anybody's race. I've seen Olympic champions actually time out 
even when this kind of a lead. And timing out means 50 seconds, and I don't think it will happen, but it, it has. There's Esposito in third. Clavel from France wearing number two in fourth. And then you've got McCann, Foldhazi, Kovac, and Isaksen from the United States. Again, all still within podium range. And there's our fifth green light for Azadaskaiti. And she's off for her third 800 meters. Toki from Italy there, shooting position one. It's two misses. And on the range now is Esposito. And there's Toki off the range. Esposito wearing number eight from Australia in third position. Clovel from France wearing number two. And there comes the pack. Kovac, McCann, Isaksen, Foldhazi. Still anybody's, anybody's race for the bronze. Yanni Marcus on the range from Brazil. And there is Chloe Esposito. Currently in third. One of the great combined athletes. Foldhazi stumbling there with McCann from Canada. Kovac and Clavel leaving the range together. East Oxen from the United States. Azadaskaiti from Lithuania, the Olympic champion. Very comfortable coming down as she's approaching for her fourth and final shooting series. She needs five green lights. No problems on the range and she will be our champion. There's Toki from Italy holding on to second. She's struggling a little, you can see it in her face. It's been a long day for these athletes. Azadaskaiti coming in for her fourth and final shooting series. One for one, and she has a miss. Not ah, two shots. Here's Esposito, currently in third from Australia. The pressure on the final series, and Foldhazi from Hungary, followed by Clavel from France, and Isaksen from the United States. The pressure on the fourth and final series is intense. These athletes know they need to put five, get five green lights, and they have only 800 meters to go. And there goes Laura Azadaskaiti on for her last 800 meters, comfortably in first. Gloria Toki currently in second. And she's got a big smile there as she passes uh, the Polish coaches. She knows what she's, what she's on her way to. Toki from Italy. Esposito from Australia. And Toki from Italy on her, her, her final 800 meters. Clavel from France. You have Isaksen from the United States, Esposito from Australia, and Foldozi from Hungary. Again, their heart rate's way over 200 beats a minute. There goes Foldozi from Hungary with a great final shooting series. She's got 800 meters to go, followed by Chloe Esposito from Australia with only 800 meters. Clavel from France, Isaksen from the United States in fifth, and there's Donata Rimsaiti wearing number 11 from Russia. Laura Azadaskaiti, our leader, just extending her lead. She's looking back over her shoulder, and there's the race for the bronze medal. Foldhazi from Hungary, and Chloe Esposito from Australia has passed Sofia Foldhazi from Hungary. It's Esposito showing the form that got her in the top 10 of the Olympic Games in, in London, and Foldhazi is trying to hang on. Esposito is looking ahead. Clavel, this is not her strongest event. And there's Isaksen from the United States in fifth, followed by Rimsaiti from Russia. And Laura Azadaskaiti from Lithuania will add one more gold medal to her haul this year. She has not lost a major international competition this year. Laura Azadaskaiti, our gold medals and World Cup final champion. There she is. Gloria Toki, she held on for that silver. Gloria Toki from Italy, she's happy, and I would be too if I was in her shoes. There, she's showing that heart. She loves Belarus. And Chloe Esposito, with that determination, she will get the bronze medal. It's Esposito from Australia crossing the finish line. Foldozi fourth, Rimsaiti from 11th all the way to fifth, Isaksen from the USA sixth, and Elodie Clavel. So after that dominant performance, it's victory for Laura Asadaskaiti, who finishes with 1,375 points. Gloria Toki takes second in the silver, while Chloe Esposito took bronze just ahead of Shofia Falhatsi. Russia's Donata Rimsaiti finished strongly in the combined to take fifth, ahead of Margot Isaksen in sixth, and Elodie Clavel in seventh, with Melody McCann rounding out the top ten. <laughs> Today was a really great day. I'm very happy. I started really well in the fencing, 
My swimming was good and I made one mistake in the riding, but it's okay. The combined race, it wasn't easy, but I didn't need to push 100% and I'm very happy to have qualified for the Rio Olympic Games. I'm really happy today. I, I think I very, I love very much, so much this, this country and this city. Well, it's my first senior medal and I'm so happy. Also because the gold medal is impossible for me, yeah? And so I'm really satisfied. And this is my first year coming back into World Cups and everything since being injured. And then just coming to the World Cup final, trying to get my all and bronze medal. So I'm really happy. So it's gold again for Laura Asadaskaiti, who is crowned the 2015 World Cup final winner. Join us next time from Berlin in Germany for the Modern Pentathlon World Championships.